in every presidential election since 1980. Women have voted in higher numbers than men, and that gap has widened over time. That's why many researchers are zeroing in on women, particularly Gen Z women, to get a better understanding of what is truly important to them. After all, Gen Z women played a critical role in the 2020 election, and this year, Millions in this demographic will be eligible to cast their ballots for the very first time. In fact, a new survey from Hit Strategies and YWCA USA is digging into the perspectives and priorities of this key voting block as we head into the home stretch of this election cycle. Here to discuss CEO of the nonprofit organization All In Together, Lauren Leader, and author of the book entitled The Other, How to Own Your Power at Work as a Woman of Color, Know Your Values, Daniela Pierre Bravo. Daniela, great to have you back on. Um, so Gen Z women, what are the issues that really stuck out to them that were top priority and what, what does it tell us about this generation and how they may vote? Yeah, good morning, Mika. Well, the reports show that there are a lot of different issues like the economy, like access to health care, gun violence that are important for Gen Z women voters that have the same importance that they've placed with older generations. Now, the difference here in the data is that Gen Z women voters don't just have one or two or three big issues. They have a lot of importance across a broad range of other issues. For example, in this report, 36 percent said that abortion access is their top issue. 28% said that racial justice was, and almost 20% child care, they said that child care was at the top of the, what's important to them in terms of issues. Those numbers were actually higher than those that were reflected by older generations. And what this all means is that this generation, Gen Z women voters have a high level of anxiety and concern over a lot of the issues that affect them and their communities, and they're still not seeing a lot of legislation addressing it. Interesting. So, Lauren Leader, uh, the answers indicate Gen Z women deeply care about social justice and welfare issues as well. What do you make of that? Well, I think it's really interesting that that is, you know, with such a personal uh, issue for them. And I think it speaks to the way this generation has been raised in the sort of George mm -hmm. Floyd moment, thinking of the Me Too movement, et cetera. And that's really affected their psyche. That really affected the way they think about it. And I think it also speaks to why Gen Z is so overwhelmingly leaning to the left politically. I mean, they are just overwhelmingly voting Democrat and have in almost every election that they've been eligible to vote in. I also think the child care issue is really fascinating, especially since many of them are probably years away from having kids, and yet they want to mm -hmm. know that when they uh, are ready for families that there will be support there. I also thought one thing that stuck out for me in the survey is that while in the sort of overall uh, survey numbers of the women, abortion was not a top issue, but when they were asked, what do you think women overall care about most, abortion was the top issue. So in other words, there's real consciousness that that is a critical factor, even though perhaps for their own lives, the economy is more directly personal. For sure. And Daniela, Gen Z women, they also ranked racial justice as a priority, a full yeah. 17 percentage points more than millennial women. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? Well, first off, Gen Z is the most diverse generation yeah. there is. And I think what this data shows is that racial justice isn't just a single issue. It is about the underpinning of a lot of different issues and kind of the intersection of how they see their own race on issues that they feel that are at stake for them. And so when you talk about the cost of living, access to health care, they've seen that marginalized communities and communities of mm -hmm. color all bear the burden more than other demographics and they reflect those demographics. And one thing that I'm really excited about is I'm gonna be moderating a panel of Gen Z leaders for the YWCA um, in Philadelphia this Saturday where we're gonna discuss these issues and especially something like racial justice when you talk about the underpinning of all these issues having to do with race and identity, we're gonna explore that and what issues they're gonna actually show up for on election day. And Lauren, what is the opportunity here for Democrats as they look at sort of the survey results and how it could play into their message? 
Well, clearly Gen Z is fundamental, certainly to the Democratic coalition. I think Republicans obviously need to do more to outreach to young voters, which I'm not sure they've done an especially good job of. But clearly, like, solutions matter. They want to know, is there going to be support for critical issues like child care? How is the future administration going to address issues of fairness and equity and equality for all? Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. these are huge opportunities for the campaigns to speak directly to them across all of these issues. Issues, not just one, but across all yeah. of the issues that matter most to young people. Take the message directly to them, engage them, ask them for their vote, treat them like the adults that they are. Uh, they deserve it. Lauren Leader and Know Your Values, Daniela Pierre Bravo, thank you. And Daniela mentioned she'll be moderating the event in Philadelphia this weekend, so look for her coverage, uh, knowyourvalue.com. Daniela.